I'm Tammy Fellers. And I'm Renee Smith. We're both math consultants at ESDAC in Hutchinson, Kansas. And today we're bringing you Fraction Action Area. As, as we help students understand fractions and develop that conceptual understanding, we also need them to think about fractions not just as circles and squares. <laughs> Granted, easy for teachers to draw and we draw them all the time too, but we want to show some other representations as well. So here's some ideas you might use in your classroom. On these particular cards we're using pattern blocks to form different areas and so on one card, the, one of the easier ones in the deck, um, it just starts out with the equilateral triangle as the whole. And then another piece represent what, what the student is asked to do is figure out what another piece would represent. And so um, we might ask that Tammy figure out if the triangle is the whole, what is the hexagon? And most students will want to build those, and we really want students to build, build things. And so um, I'm going to see how many triangles I can get on my hexagon, and I could get six. So I know that if this is the whole, this represents six holes. Okay. The next type of card I'm going to ask Renee to do for us is if this is the whole, what would one-third be represented as? And I, I learned from Tammy that it takes six equilateral triangles, so each of those would be one-sixth. So I'm not going to start with that. I'm going to start with a different shape piece, and I'm going to look at the trapezoid. And I would, but, but I think students would do exactly what Tammy said and, and place that on the hexagon and realize that, oops, that, that can't be a third because it took two pieces instead of three. So then the next inclination would be to try the rhombus. And in this particular case, it does take three of those to fill up the hexagon. So I know that uh, one rhombus is one third of the hexagon if the hexagon is the whole. Absolutely. And another thing that might come up for a student is a student might try a trapezoid, a rhombus, and a triangle, <laughs> but again, one of the things we're working on is it needs to be divided and in, partitioned into thirds, which we know those to be equal pieces, and that's a conversation that then we can have. Are all of those pieces equal in size? No, so we have to go back with Renee's three, three um, blue rhombus or rhombi placed on there. The other thing is that some students might, from what Tammy did earlier, realize that two equilateral triangles could be uh, there would be three groups if we used two equilateral triangles, and so again, we could be talking about equivalencies awesome. in this particular, uh, on this particular card. Are you going to make me do this next you card? You have to do the hard one. All right. <laughs> so the next card, this time my shape is not one single item, and um, Which one did you take? So okay. I'm going to build, I, for me, and I think many students, they'll actually want to just rebuild it here in front or off to the side. So I've rebuilt the card and this time that is my whole. Comes with all of those things and it asked me to build a shape that is two-fifths the size of that. Well when I look at that I see they're not divided, partitioned into equal pieces. So the first thing I want to do is try to partition that into equal pieces. So I'm going to go back to my green triangles and I'm going to replace my trapezoid with three green triangles which is the same size, and I'm going to replace this rhombus with two equilateral triangles and that rhombus with two, and I've just built the same shape <coughs> as the same area, but now using pieces that are partitioned into equal sizes. So I'm asked <coughs> to do two-fifths of that. So you so need five I equal need, pieces. That's right. I need five equal pieces. So that's uh -huh. the first thing I'm going to do. Build my five groups of equal pieces. And now it's asked me for two-fifths. So two-fifths of that picture could be represented with four of the triangles. Some students may have actually put them down and replaced everything with the blue rhombus. And so they may use two blue rhombus, rhombi. Sorry about that. That's okay. And, <coughs> and really, the key is the area. So another student may end their representation with a trapezoid and a green triangle. 
all of those things are acceptable because we're looking at area and those all cover the same amount of area. And it's, and it's two fifths of what the hole was. It's two fifths of what the <coughs> hole is. In this deck, you'll also receive a task sheet. And besides having the directions and some extensions and how you may use them in your classroom, it also comes with the answer sheet. And all of the answers in this particular set we've chosen to show as equilateral triangles. So, uh, but, but just like we discussed, there are many representations that could be the same area. And again, those are great conversations <coughs> to have with students regarding equivalency. The other piece on this task sheet is um, accountability. accountability for students because many times you're using these in small groups and the teacher is not right there and so how might you have student accountability with this learning but it doesn't impede the learning or get in the way of it. Thank you for joining us today here at ASDAC.